Hey there, hey, and thank you for tuning in to this pod of Born to be a Star. Today is another day, another opportunity for you to recognize your star power. And we just mixed Greg Gutfeld, but we'll get into politics in a minute. We're starting the day off by talking about the fact that we can reflect on our reflection by loving what we see. We can reflect on our reflections by understanding where we've been and where we're going to next on our journey of life. We can reflect on what we're seeing by loving what we're seeing instead of trying to change it. I'm not saying you can't change with time because that happens to everyone, but you shouldn't dislike yourself. It doesn't matter what other people have to say. You have to learn to love yourself. We should be starting every day off by saying to ourselves, yes, we can. Learn new languages, go on trips, buy new things, buy new vehicles, decide we wanna buy a house for the first time, decide we want a new kitchen table. We can decide we want to learn how to knit, sew, play chess, or watch a video game. Or maybe we want to play a video game. Maybe we want to start a new show on Netflix. The idea is, yes, we can. Following the idea of, yes, we can, is the idea of never giving up. If you love yourself or anyone else, you have to persevere through the difficulty to get to the good side of something. You can't just be stuck in negativity and sorrow and pain and fear and think you're going to accomplish anything. That's what happens when you don't have any strength or courage. That's called a loser. And we don't want to be that. We want to persevere through the difficulty. We want to find a way to the opposite side. We have to believe when it doesn't feel like there's nothing to believe in because that's the only way we're going to get through situations in life, right? That's the only way to persevere through the darkness to get back to that light. Following the idea of perseverance and getting back to the light is the idea of why not today? Why do we stagnate ourselves and why do we do why do we allow procrastination and indecisiveness to control us right we're taking forever to make a decision we're procrastinating about what's going to happen or something why are we doing that to ourselves we should stop outside of the idea of procrastination and indecisiveness you should get the dishwasher fixed you should figure out what's wrong with the washing machine in the basement and you should get your car checked out if it's making a weird noise you should why not today because we don't know if tomorrow is promised why not today because we don't control time we just live here right why not today because if you don't plan effectively if you don't have things strategically mapped out if you are not someone who does that then you don't know if you're going to get it done that's it i like planning it's great right i love it I don't like not planning because then I don't know how things are going to get done and that will drive me crazy. So let's get into the politics. So today, uh, that crappy case in New York took place and the porn star showed up and said a bunch of things that didn't have anything to do with the case. I really think it should go to mistrial, but of course they're not going to do it because it's New York. The other case about the boxes and everything basically got delayed and it's likely that case isn't coming back. It should have never been a case to begin with. I'm not sure what's happening with the Fanny case, but she definitely needs to get fired for real. The way they're attacking Donald Trump, they've basically made him a victim and they basically made him extremely relatable. He's not actually doesn't have the opportunity to run a campaign because they put a gag order on him. I just, excuse me for the pause, I'm listening to these idiots, okay, protest. I think it's insane that they're attacking Donald Trump. I think it's insane that Braggs is going after Trump. I think it's even more insane that he let off people that had something to do with assassinating someone, right? How many times has he let criminals get away with criminal behavior? 
yet he's attacking Donald Trump. And the judge in charge of this needs to lose his job and his ability to be a judge entirely. Where are the adults? Are they gone? Is no one paying attention and listening to the world burn the way it is? When the United States is failing the way it is, the world is failing. Honduras is taking advantage of the fact that they can run around and sell fentanyl in the United States of America and make, I don't know, half a million dollars, if not more, and then bring it back to where they live and live in big mansions and have a great life. We allow these legal aliens to come into our country, have kids here, get married, do a bunch of things they're not supposed to do, and they're not trying to be citizens of America. They just want to take advantage of the uh, the nanny state, right? They just want handouts. They make TikTok videos where they admit if you have a kid in this country, you don't have to do anything. They've admitted this. It's insane. Not only is it insane, but it should stop. And the more it doesn't stop, the more we should be concerned and worried. But It doesn't make sense to me. I'm not going to pretend like I understand. I'm just going to say that these idiots running around these college campuses that are Americans being on the side of Hamas don't understand what Hamas is. Because if they went to Gaza, they wouldn't be alive. The world hates Americans, yet Americans are dumb and naive and just so blind and stupid and unaware of everything. I had a conversation with my mom earlier today where I had to tell her that Joe Biden poops in his pants and that the entire Biden administration lies about everything, that there's facts and there's details and there's proof and evidence of the corruption with the Bidens and basically all these people that are Democrats. And her response to me is, I didn't hear about that. Of course you don't hear about that because you're a lefty. Like, and I love her, but like, come on, man. Face reality. The corrupt government has one thing in mind, keeping their power, and they'll do anything to do that. Bernie Sanders, why does he have all these houses if he's so anti-government? Why does AOC have a $170,000 Tesla? Where the fuck does she get that money from, right? Where are all the jobs for the people that she represents in her district? And why do they keep re-electing her ass in? Somebody explain it to me. Do you understand that the governor, right, the white governor in New York today made a comment that black kids in the Bronx don't have access to to computers? I'm going to tell you who's racist here. It's them. It's the Democratic Party. It's Joe Biden, like I said yesterday or the day before that. The things that they say... The words that they say to young children and adults and people that live in different neighborhoods is completely racist and there is no there's no way to cover it. And she came out because she got called out for it and she said she didn't mean it, but she said it. So there's no way to fix it now. Right. And the crazy Democrat, the other Democratic lady that made all these comments about attacking Trump, she's trying to wash up what she said to when Trump gets back in office. He should just fire all of them. Cleaning the swamp should mean one thing. Firing them all. 99% of the politicians on the Senate and the House don't need to be there anyway. So let's just mop the floor with them. And let's get some real people that are doing real things for Americans in this country. We need to get the sweep and the swept correctly. He needs to do a ban on the... Afghanistanians and the Muslims or whatever he did before he needs to bring that ban back just like he had when he was in office for four years and we need to start deporting these people they shouldn't be taking advantage of our system and our home country it's not for strangers and it's not for illegals it's for us right I work every day no one gives me shit everything that I work for is mine me and my husband is for our family The idea that you're taking money out of my check 
out of my salary, out of my yearly living to give to these people that don't do anything. And earlier today, I just got so fucking aggravated because it just seriously irritates me that I get up every day and I go to work and I'm not getting a free handout. And these people get are getting fucking thousands of dollars put into their bank accounts that they probably shouldn't have because they're fucking illegal and they're getting all this shit and nobody's reacting to it. It's just like, oh, well, that can't be the response. Oh, well, can't be the response. We have to fix this. The government is corrupt, and the only way to clean fix this is to get rid of all of them. All they do is try to break us, but it's failing. Because the more they try to break us, the more we realize we have more in common with each other. The lie to women is this. A man can't be a woman, okay? A penis cannot be turned into a vagina. Once you decide to go through one of these crazy-ass surgeries, you're turning yourself into a eunuch. You cannot take a uterus out of a female and put it into a man that's not how science works that's not how biology works i'm sorry you're uncomfortable and you hate your life but that's too goddamn bad the idea that you want to turn into a different sexuality to make yourself feel better is insane and kind of gross right and i'm okay with lesbians and and people wanting to try out new things or whatever that's fine But the idea that people would actually go through with these surgeries and potentially put themselves in harm, right? We don't hear enough of the stories about the stuff going wrong, right? Where these people are in pain for the rest of their lives and they're not experiencing the great part of it. We don't hear enough of those stories, but they do exist, right? They're there. Why is it that we are not telling the truth? The lie to women while they try to take over, I don't know, weightlifting, swimming, golf, bowling, tennis, any woman's sport, swimming, and remove women from it. And women misuse feminism to support trans rights instead of their own while they strip away Title 19 that's supposed to protect girls. While they give the bats to the boys that can clearly run faster, hit harder, and and punch and, and leave more black bruises. They continue to punish women, and women are so goddamn stupid. The, the movement that was created where women went around lying about what was actually happening, making things up, right, because they wanted to be victims, has left us in a trance where we think men are so horrible. But children need fathers and wives need husbands. That's it. The lie to women is that we're not getting replaced by people calling us birthing persons. No, bitch. We're women. We're mothers, not birthing persons. And you could take that word and you can shove it up your dumb ass. Yep, I said it. And I meant it. Looks like Israel is continuing to attack Rafa, and I don't really think Israel cares about any money from United States of America right now. And I think they have to completely decimate Hamas. I think that's been the one thing the entire time, and I don't think the United States of America or any other country should be trying to stop them from that. Do you understand that the Hamas is the bad guy, Iran is the bad guy, and that the United States of America has funded what happened on October 7th? So we're clearly responsible for all those deaths the whatever the amount of people in uh, Israel, I think it was like 1,500, if not more, resonates to about 44 to 50,000 people in the United States. You're telling me there wouldn't have been some insane reaction about that here? I'm going to continue to say it every day. I support Israel. I support my Jewish brothers and sisters. And we won't stop until they're all dead. There is no ceasefire. We're not apologizing. I'm not sure that the Palestinians have anything on Israel. And they voted for Hamas. And Hamas uses them as body shields. So I'm kind of tired of hearing about pro-Hamas anything. How 
Now they want to put a weapon hold on Israel after Congress passed for them to get money. How can Biden do that? What's wrong with Biden? He's trying to placate to one part of his leftist group, and then he's leaving everybody else scarce. It makes no sense to me. Moving into the main part of the conversation, a house or apartment. I don't know anymore. Part of me feels like suck it up and just pay 8% and get a house and just live there. Another part of me feels like wait and see if the, the numbers go down. But I don't think they're going to. I think that the Biden administration and the Democratic Party has really fucked over anyone actually wanting to do any of those things. And I don't know or think there's a way to fix it. I'm not sure. I think that the housing market and the apartment market have both gone the wrong way, and I don't think there's any way to fix it. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get how they're not looking at the numbers and they're not recognizing that the prime rate is at an 8% right now. They can't bring the numbers back down. Inflation can't go away. And Jerome Powell doesn't know what the fuck he's doing because continuing to keep the numbers up the way he has hasn't helped anything. So when it comes down to it, apartment or house, I don't know what to tell you anymore. You could buy a house down at an 8% an 8 prime rate and have negative equity. Or you could wait and see what happens. And then you could rent something and be stuck on a yearly lease. So it's really, really scary. I don't know what's right anymore. My husband said to me, you know, the prime rate is 8%. Why would anybody buy anything right now? So you're going to wait forever? I don't know. How to pick baby names. So I know when you're thinking about picking baby names, you're thinking about getting a baby book and then deciding what names to pick. When I think about picking baby names, I think about people I love and names I want to live forever. Like, for instance, when me and Skip start having kids any day now, hopefully now, you know, hopefully Nicholas is deciding to grow in my stomach. That'd be great. Um, our first child, if it's a boy, his name is going to be Nicholas Frank Montano after um, Skip's um, grandfather and I'm doing that as respect to somebody who is absolutely incredible such a figure in the family that I feel like his name has to be secured and timeless right and you know once we do start having kids and Nicholas starts to grow up I want him to understand the meaning of his name and and what that means and I hope that as he grows up he then takes his name and maybe gives it to his own son right the idea of these names is for something to matter. And there's so many books, there's so many things you can do to help you pick out a name. So I really think time needs to be taken with that. And you really have to decide once the baby comes out. I'm lucky enough to be a new auntie of Miller and Cameron. And aren't those both be two beautiful names? Cannot wait to start looking at names so we can eventually pick out some for ours. But I already picked out the names of my kids. Um, so first boy is Nicholas. Second boy is Jackson. Third boy is Ethan. First girl is Sophia. Second girl is Trinity. And uh, last girl is Elsie. So I, I got about six or seven names, depending on what the kid looks like when they come out. You name them. That's, that's what I'm doing here, right? And then when it comes to middle names, we got moms and dads and aunts and uncles, and we'll get creative with that, right? That's what we'll do. I think that name books are very important, and it has to mean something to you. So I really want to take the time to make sure that we're providing our children with the names that best suits them at that time. Where to buy shoes? Just by duh. Online. Like, I don't really want to go into a store and try on shoes. I already told you how I felt about Foot Locker, and I think they basically closed all of them anyway. And I just started doing the majority of my shopping on Poshmark and all of my, like, designer websites. So I don't really go to the store anymore, and I don't want to, right? If I want to buy something, I know what size I am, and I just order it and buy it. That's it. 
I don't think about it. I don't need to go to a store. And honestly, these people are robbing stores. They're going to suburbia towns. It's not really a great thing. Outside of like thrifting, I don't really go to the store that much because I'm not really into it. And I'm not even going to lie about it. But there's TJ Maxx and there's Marshalls and they have uh, a good selection of shoes. Sometimes it depends on like the season. Sometimes I feel like Marshalls has a great selection and other times I feel like, eh. And it depends on if you're buying them for men or women. I don't know. The ads on Instagram drive me nuts. Just like the ads on Pinterest drive me nuts. Why are you trying to sell me a bunch of crap I don't want? I hate ads, especially on social media. That's the number one reason I got rid of Facebook is I couldn't stand the ads. They just drove me insane and I just stopped caring. The secret behind happiness is to not stop being happy for anybody. It's to laugh, smile, be happy, even when you want to cry. (coughs) Put a smile on your face and make the world a better place. That's the secret behind happiness. Never let anything get you down. When you give, you receive. There's something so fulfilling about giving to others and helping others. I, I just can't explain it. Putting a smile on a child's face or opening a door for someone or helping someone with something that they didn't think would be helped or being a ray of sunshine to someone that's clearly in the darkness that really provides with something so amazing and something so beautiful. Moving on from the main part of the conversation, let's get into watching things with Star Wars talk. Currently watching Late Night with... What's his name? I watched Greg Gutfeld tonight. Pretty entertaining. I can't really tell you what they talked about. It wasn't anything too pressing. Uh, they were making fun of... Um, the one that shot the dog. She's definitely not going to become the vice president. Prom dates looks okay. Surreal estate. Mm. The floor. Hoarder house. I think I'd be interested in watching that. It's called Hoarder House Flippers. So clearly they're doing over houses of hoarders. And then they're flipping it. I would be pretty interested to watch that. The flood. Under the bridge. The contestant. And where did horror go? Well, horror is on Shudder, and you have to really look for it on other places. I'm a horror enthusiast, so I'm always looking for scary things. I'm always looking for a way to hide under covers to see if the ghost is really there. I love scary movies. I love scary things. I'm a horror enthusiast. I like reading scary comic books. I love all of that. So for me, I'm constantly looking for things that scare me. And I don't really think they're doing a great job of horror movies right now, especially not at the movie theater. Like, a lot of the last movies that have been in the movie theater that have been scary haven't been scary. Have you seen Hellraiser? Have you seen Rosemary's Baby? Have you seen Halloween? Have you seen um, Friday the 13th? Have you seen, like, The Conjuring, the first one? Real scare movies? Like, I'm talking about, um, what's the name of that scary movie where they have the videotape and they're recording everything. That shit was scary, too. There's a bunch of scary movies that are actually scary. And then there's other ones that aren't. So, like, if you like scary movies, you really got to look for them. Finally, I saw the show called Outsiders, and maybe it's good. I really want to get back into trying to figure out Apple Plus. But they've broken away from their main content, and I don't really know what they're doing. And I talked about that yesterday, but I really <coughs> want to spend some time and get through it. I started watching um, a new, the new season of The Circle, so I'll, I'll fill you in on that. I'm really not sure about these characters, but they don't really seem that bright to me, so we'll see what happens. Moving on from watching things to eating things, meet lovers Stromboli. Now, when you think about meet lover stromboli are you tempted to make it yourself or buy it and put it in the oven i don't know like i feel like meat lover stromboli is probably better when you make it because you can add in all the the meat you want are you making it italian are you making it like a meatball are you making it chicken like how much meat are you putting in it and then how much cheese are you putting in are you using fresh mozzarella what kind of cheese are you using in it 
You can buy the Stromboli pre-made at our big Y. They do that. That's our primary grocery store. So we'll see what happens. Chicken zucchini bake. So basically you chop up zucchini, you chop up chicken, you like fillet the chicken and you type it into like shredded chicken. Then you add in cheese, cream cheese, sour cream, and olive oil. Mix it all together, shove it in a pan. Then on top of it, put more cheese on top of it. Add layers of mozzarella. We're making this ooey gooey cheesy squeezy. Put that in the oven, let that cook off for about 25 minutes. And then you can cut it into pieces and you can serve that for dinner, lunch, brunch, whatever you want. It's a great alternative to using pasta and it's a great alternative for carbs, right? If you're trying to eliminate carbs, this is a great way to do it. Cut the carbs. Cilantro lime shrimp. So you need to make a cilantro lime sauce. So basically lemon juice, lime juice, cilantro, mix it together, add some, um, oil and vinegar mix that all up put that to the side then you get shrimp you lightly you know you spray some olive oil in a pan we're doing the not the non-stick spray in your one pan then you put the shrimp in you cook them off not fully you add in the sauce and you you know bring it to a heat but you don't want to completely make the shrimp overdone you just want to cook them very slightly you want it to be good not gross right and you got to be really careful with seafood so make sure you don't overcook it then you could top that with whatever pasta you want, but make sure it's carb free or whatever veggie you want. Following the cilantro lime ship is easy cheesy chicken enchiladas with green chilies. Sounds like something delicious. Tonight for dinner, we had enchiladas with Mexican rice, uh, sour cream, and it was very good. And um, it's kind of fun making things at home and having that for dinner versus ordering out every day. <clears throat> depending on the day and the busyness sometimes it's easier sometimes it's hard moving on from the chilies homemade macaroni i think the best macaroni is not made from the box it's made from the noodles and the cheese and the hot sauce and the mozzarella and mixing it all together obviously you can add a cream cheese and sour cream too to give it that extra lift you could do a veggie macaroni you could do a meat macaroni you can add in jalapenos and hot sauce like i like to do you can really make something that is pretty basic something that's pretty cool um for lunch today i had stuffed peppers and they were absolutely delicious. And for lunch tomorrow, I'm going to have spicy shrimp. And I'll fill you in and let you know if they were good. I'm trying to break away from coffee and all these things that I don't need. Um, again, I do have that all this Nespresso and Keurig and all that stuff. And I'm basically drinking like the iced coffee of Starbucks from the fridge. I'm trying to stay away from ordering things at these places so I can stop wasting my money. So I'll keep you filled in on that. But I'm always looking for an opportunity to make something new and try something different and try new recipes. And if you're looking for new recipes and you're looking to make things different, maybe try cooking something you've never cooked before. Maybe try use one of your one of your cooking utensils in your pantry, right? Maybe try making the rice with the rice cooker, right? Maybe try taking out the carbs. Maybe maybe add them in depending on what you're making. Whatever the case may be. If, if you're trying to do something different, make sure you have a good recipe, too. I feel like the best recipes are when, first of all, I can see the person making it. And second of all, when I can have word for word, line for line, what I need and how I need to make it. That's the only way I'm going to be successful with cooking. There's so many different ways you can make Mexican food your own and unique. Also with Indian food or basically any food. I really want to get into Indian food, so I'm really going to be testing things out and trying them like right now i don't know if i want to go through like vegetarian things because a lot of indian people are vegetarian or if i want to try all the meats that they have available i will fill you in it really depends i kind of want to try like a bunch of different chicken marsalas and and figure out which ones i like more there's so many different flavors there's curry you can do curry like fish 
You can do so many things with curry. And I did make my own curry chicken and I was really obsessed with it. So I really want to see what flavors I can mess with and play with. Maybe do some sort of fusion and see if I, if I can really get the flavor I want. We'll see what happens. Anyways, my friends, thank you for being stars wherever you are. Don't forget that you are the light in the darkness. Together, me, you, they, them, us. We are not only going to just save the world, the United States of America, and every other country surrounding it, but we are also going to save the universe and stars beyond the stars because we are the light and the darkness. We are the beginning, the middle, the end. We were here when everything started. We'll be here when everything ends, and we'll be here when everything starts again. In the darkness, I can see your light, and I hope you see mine too. Don't forget that you are a star wherever you are. And I'll see you same place, same time tomorrow. Bye.